what's going on everybody in this video i'm going to be showing you how to import the 3d model in no video editing app and also how you can animate the 3d camera to make it look clean and professional so if you gain value out of this video don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more so without further ado let's dive in Alright, as you guys can see, I've already imported this 3D model and also animate the camera to make this 3D scene look seamless and cinematic. So I'm going to be walking you through how I did all this all from scratch. So let's get into it. So now as you can see, we have the new project right here. So to import the 3D model into no video editing app, there are two options right here, so which I'm going to be showing you guys. So stick around to the end because I'm still going to be showing you how to animate the 3D camera to make your work look seamless and professional. So to import the 3D model, you want to click on this plus icon right here and you want to go to 3D right below right here. And as you can see, we have three options right here. We have the uh, asset, we have the camera 3D and also we have the import. So the one we're going to be going with is the import. But you need to know that if you are to click the import mode, that means you already have 3D model sitting down on your phone gallery which will allow you to import it into no video editing app but in the case where you don't have any 3d model downloaded so all you have to do is to click on this question mark right here it's going to be directing you to your browser and what when you click on it, it's going to be directing you to no video uh, website so that is where you're going to be seeing uh, a website that no video actually recommend for you guys to download free 3d model template which you can use to make your work clean and professional so you want to click on the free 3d model this will take you to this website right here as you can see we have a free model which you can work with so as you can see this website right here this is the recommended by no video app so where you can download 3d model as you can see we have so many we have the blender mode and all of these are entirely free so i'm going to be showing you how to work with this uh, website so you can download the best the model that support node video so you need to know that node video only support the fbs model and the uh, obj model and also with the file zip so knowing that you're gonna click on obj or your fbs model whichever one as you can see the website is gonna be filter and giving you only a uh, character or whichever one you want which is in 3d model as you can see you can actually select if you have if you need anything like architecture to animate or vehicle character air uh, aircraft and furniture and so many phone and the rest as you can see they have so many options so you, all you have to do is to click on this icon right here this three line at this right to filter the free model because they have the premium which you're gonna be paying and also we have the free so we, when i choose only character as you can see it's gonna be taking me right here where i can download free character as you can see we have this iron man character which is free and we have so many of these all you have to do is just to click on the 3d model which actually suits you and you want to work with in no video editing app this is an amazing just like a blender because i'm going to be showing you how to animate all of this so after you download it one one more thing that is required is for you to unzip the file because 3d always come with zip file so i'm going to be showing you how to unzip it and also import it into no video editing app because some of these when you download it you are not going to be allowed to import direct using the zip file so you have to make sure you've already unzipped it so the app i use to unzip file is this so you guys can actually look for a file zipper on play store or app store that you can actually use to unzip all of the file which is in 3d or whatever file format that you need them for all right i'm now on the zip file right here so all you have to do is to look for where your download file always save on your phone mine is on download i know where i'm going so i'm just going to be going on fbsj as you can see this is the zip file which i downloaded from this uh website as you can see this mid bar right here all I, all i'm going to be doing is just to click on this and you're going to click on extract here so after this i've already extracted so now we are good to go or no video editing app to import the 3d model all right so now the file has already downloaded on our smartphone all you have to do is to click on the plus icon go to 3d then you want to go to import straight away and it's going to be allowing you to go to your phone and bring down and bring out the extract file which you've already extracted so now as you can see i have this file right here which i've already extracted so it comes with the fbs file format and also the material and we have the obj and also the texturizer these two right here the material and also the texturizer they are not useful right now 
maybe in future node video i can actually implement more tools so you can able to use material and texturizer to improve the 3d model texture and environment so the one we're going to be clicking right now is the obj or you can choose the fbs this is supported by node video so i'm going to be going for the obj right here and i'm going to be importing the the meat bar right here so, all right as you guys can see i've already imported the 3d model into the node video editing app this is how you can import 3d model into new video editing app so now let's go to how to animate this 3d to make it look clean and cinematic so now in no video editing app we have two option of editing uh your 3d we have the one that you're going to be using the 3d camera to track a movement using the keyframe and also we have the transform 3d model so i'm going to be walking you through how you can do that so as you can see the 3d transform we have the x this is our x axis right here as you can see this will move in the x axis in a plane in 3d plane and also we have the our y axis in 3d and also z which stand for this uh the zoom as you can see in the 3d space likewise our scale you can scale things up right here as you can see then rotate you can rotate in our 3d space right here also so the one i mostly use to animate 3d is the 3d camera tracking system so to get your 3d camera you just need to click on the plus icon then you want to go to 3d and go to our uh, camera 3d this will import the 3d camera as you guys can see it right here so all you have to do is just to click on your 3d model and both and insert it into the 3d camera right here so now when you click on it you're gonna come down to camera settings right here and you want to click on camera settings so this will allow you to create a scene and making it look more cinematic and seamless so now as you can see we have the position we have the rotation and we have the point pov which stand for the uh kind of cinematic zoom in with your camera and also this come with the pov which stand for the uh field of view as you can see whereby the camera will be looking from a far distance and you can create a nice zoom effect into your scene so all i'm going to be doing now is to tweak the position rotation and the pov and also create a keyframe to track the camera movement in the scene and if you does not understand how to use keyframe in node video editing app you can check below i put a link to my node video playlist that explain in entire everything about key framing in node video editing app so you also can understand what i actually did right here so after i've tweaked the position rotation and the field of view mode and this is the final product i actually get in animating the 3d design Alright, this 3D animation is based on your perspective, how you want your scene to be created with the 3D camera tracking. It depends on the character and also the 3D model which you downloaded. So as you can see, I've tweaked with the position, rotation and the field of view of this scene to create this awesome cinematic scene in 3D space using the camera to track movement using keyframe. So this this parameter might be different depending on the character which you imported so this is just based on my own perspective so you guys can actually play around with the position rotation to get the best thing that you want so and i hope you guys gain value out of this video if you did hit the like button and subscribe and turn the notification bell on so you don't miss my future video and i'll see you guys in the next tutorial Peace. To let you guys know the best way to support this channel is to head on to our Patreon page to pick up one of my no video preset pack, link to it in video description to take your video editing to the next level. That is a great way to support this channel. If you like what you see and you want to see more of this stuff coming out, then consider supporting this channel.